Welcome to the Home for Sale tutorial. What I'll do here is I'll show you how to enter in some information. We'll take a listing. I mean, you could get a listing from online or anything that you, I mean, it could be a, a document that you have. It doesn't really matter. What we'll do is we'll be entering the information into the fields by using the questions here. It's all it is, is, is uh, answer the questions and push the button. That's really all there is to it. You'll notice here that I have a, a little notepad open up here with some information. Again, this could be uh, a website, uh, a document that you have, anything that you could take the information from and, and copy and paste it in. Or, I mean, you don't have to copy and paste. You can type it right in. It's totally up to you. So what I'll do is, is each one of these is uh, numbered by a question here, a number, I should say. And I'll be taking it and putting the information in. I'm not going to go through each step in the video here because it is self-explanatory. Very simple. When I get to an area here that needs a little more explanation, I will restart the video and explain it to you. Okay, so basically what we're going to start doing here is I'm going to take this first one and just show you. I'm going to, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in. On my keyboard, I'm using a control V. Of course, you can, you know, use uh, the paste as in you can right click your mouse and paste it in also. Totally up to you how you would like to do that. Again, not going to go through each step, but when I do get to one that needs explaining, I will restart the video. On the second question here, we have a URL. I want to make it clear that this is not the URL where this mobile site will be placed, but either the main internet site of your company, or it could be leading to the listing for this home online somewhere, uh, you know, with a full listing. Again, you know, with the mobile site here, we're not going to uh, have a complete listing like you would a regular site. Uh, if people are interested, they want to see the highlights of the home, and they're going to call you for more information. Okay, so this again, the second question is your main site or the listing. It doesn't matter, whatever you want to put in here. Okay, we're at the question to attach your logo. You'll notice here in the middle of the software is a logo. Okay, and this logo will be placed at the top of the mobile sites. You can use the one I've supplied, real estate logo too, in the folder where the information is that you've downloaded. Or you can use your own. You can see the size here, it's rather small, and you need to keep it eh, somewhat small for mobile phones. And it's totally up to you, but you do need to enter a logo in here. And all you need to do is, is uh, browse and find the logo yours or the one I've provided. You see that I have chosen one by browsing to it uh, and it's again it can be on your desktop or wherever you've saved it. The next question number seven is opening paragraph okay and this will be right at the very top under the realtor name and you know you're not putting a lot of information there totally up to you a little paragraph in this case I'm going to put thank you for visiting do not hesitate to call or email us and there is a tap to call button that your telephone number has gone into. They can tap it right from their mobile phone and call you, or they can use the email us and email you. This could be your mobile phone, office phone, whatever you would like to use. On question number 12, attach photo for the main page. On your opening page, when they land on your site, after they've scanned a QR code or arrived, however they may have gotten there, you will want a photo and normally this would be a photo of the outside of the home. Okay, and uh, again, you would upload a photo, attach it to this, and I've got here a minimum of 640 by 480 pixels. You want this to be a rather high quality photo, and the reason being is, of course, on a mobile phone, it's gonna be a small picture on their screen, but if you've got people using larger screen devices like an iPad or an Android tablet, you want the f picture to be, you know, reasonably clear and not blurry so use a larger picture a 640 by 480 is a is a good size and if you've got a high quality picture then it will scale pretty good to the screen you know you can use up to 900 pixels but uh, just remember that you're dealing with mobile devices and you don't want it to be some huge you know file keep it at a reasonable size and again this is nothing more than browsing 
to a folder where you've got the home pictures. And again, this is the first picture they see, so keep that in mind. On question 13, there was a extra location information. This will be placed on the location page and below the very bottom buttons, okay? And this can be anything. I mean, you could put something, you know, home is near Six Flags or whatever information you would like to entice them, okay? Uh, it's totally up to you. It can be left blank, just like it says. Uh, it could be a, an entire paragraph, a sentence, however information you would, how much you'd like to provide. You don't want to uh, write a book by any means, but uh, it is available for your use. You'll see what I entered in. Home is about 10 minutes from downtown and 20 miles from Six Flags. It's something else, you know, just something to let them know. A quick note on this question on the property lot size. It's going to be square footage, acres, what, however you would like to enter it. In this case, I've just put in acres for the lot size. On the school district, a lot of people want to know with kids what school district they're in so you know totally up to you it can be left blank if desired but uh, people do uh, want to know in most cases in this question the last date remodeled this of course would be for an older home if it's a newer home uh, it's chances are it hasn't been remodeled and you can just put in a and the next question the year the property was built of course this would be like a, uh, a newer home so it was not remodeled if the uh, questions that were asked is not enough and you would like to provide extra information extra features in the features area then go ahead and enter it here you know it's just going to be in a, uh, a sentence and uh, there is no you can't do returns or anything like that, but you can do extra features like property has a 30 by 20 stone patio with wet bar. Just extra information to provide to the user. Again, I point out this is not a, a full-blown site. You're providing the customer with enough information to entice them to call you to sell the home to them. Okay, on the gallery page, you're going to be able to enter in four photos that is uh, a plenty you don't want to load them up with pictures you can either send them to uh, uh, you know the main website with more information on it uh, the main thing is is you want it to choose four photos of the inside of the home and that, that's easy to do I mean you can uh, certainly get across with four photos what the home looks like on the inside so the first one here you just enter the title of the photo Okay, the very first photo could be, you know, a picture of the master bedroom, whatever, whatever the case may be, living room, living area, it does not matter, enter a title in, you know, you don't want to enter a long sentence in here, just uh, a title of the photo, where it was taken at, and uh, again, in my example here, I'm not necessarily going to, pictures may not go with my descriptions here, but uh, you will understand what the gallery is for and how to use it. You enter it in and you hit next and you browse to the folder where you have your photos and upload the photo. For this one I entered master bedroom I'll enter a photo of the master bedroom. You will also note here that I entered in a different size than I was talking about the 640 by 480 just to show you as an example here you can use a 900 pixel okay but uh, again remember you want to provide you got to balance it to where you provide a quality enough picture that it will expand on these mobile devices and still look good for like the larger screen devices so you got to trade off you may have to experiment a couple of times when you build the sites but you'll get the hang of it it's very simple we're going to go through and add the other photos and we'll pick up here in just a sec. Okay, on this question, enter the video code. Uh, this is totally optional, but at the bottom of the gallery page, you can enter in a video. Most people would use YouTube, of course, but there's other all kinds of services, so but it, you know, use whatever makes you happy. But uh, I highly recommend that you use YouTube or at least one of the services that allow you to embed an iframe. 
Okay, uh, right, the iframe will work much better with mobile devices, and like most Androids and such, uh, you'll be able to, uh, when they tap on it, it will go to full screen. And that's always uh, a very nice feature. Again, it's totally optional, but a video does help, all right? You can get a lot more information and uh, pictures in that way. Okay, you'll notice that uh, I've already pasted in iframe code here. If you don't understand this, there will be another video explaining this a little bit more in depth. But uh, basically, you would go to YouTube, and if you've already got your video uploaded, of course, you go to YouTube, and then you would get the uh, share button and uh, embed it and choose your iframe method. Now, I've put a 320 width, and that is the, that's the maximum that you would want to put on there because a lot of screens, that's what they handle. And again, when they tap this on most devices, it will go full screen. Some it will not, some it will. Yet yeah, it's a trade off. But uh, keep it with the width of 320. Again, this is an iframe with a YouTube video. Uh, again, another video will be shown on how to do this. Okay, uh, we generate the QR code that you're going to use to advertise this property wherever you place it on a sign on the door in the window wherever you'd like to all right you do not want to use a value over 500 uh, as a matter of fact uh, on the page that we make here with the code on it that you can download there is already one made for 500 so here you can make a smaller one 250 or, or whatever the case may be just remember these are PNG files and they will if you if you have a 500 by 500 pixel one uh, they make a very clear print when you're transferring them to a sticker or whatever however you're going to advertise so here we've got 250 and you keep it basically square okay it's a totally square picture so we've got the width and we go to the height again I'm leaving it at 250 Okay, now this one, this is very important. You want to be able to enter in a URL where this mobile site will be placed. Now, most people, what they would do, I have found, is they will use their site in a folder with the street address. That way it's easy to find later on, and when the home is sold, you can delete it save space or you can keep it for example however however you'd like to do but the street address is always a great way to enter in the information or even use a street address like a, a dash and use a zip code great for search engines someone searching for a home in a zip code but uh, that that's my advice to you is you're uploading it to your site that you already have and again we'll go over that in another video also showing you how to upload with the provided software we've got for you as a bonus okay so again you know use the street address and that's uh, that's for that question all right uh, now this one totally up to you if you want to use this uh, the, you know that how your competition's always uh, going to be looking at what you're doing that's a known fact no use going into that but uh, competition spying on you there's no doubt okay and if you you know they're gonna like this a whole lot they're gonna say hey I wish I had a site like that so why not make money off of them again totally optional you can enter in anything you would like here affiliate name home for sale sites it could be uh, back to your home page whatever you want to do you would enter a name in here this will go in the footer of the sites and you do not have to use this option, but it is here if you would like to earn some income from people wanting the same thing as you have. Totally up to you, okay? The next question, of course, is going to be the affiliate link. In the README file, there is a README file in this set. And go ahead and open it up and take a look. And if you're interested in this, get your affiliate link and place it in here. When someone clicks on it, we will pay you instantly, okay, to your PayPal account. Let me make it clear, this is not mandatory by any means. Uh, the previous question could be any name that you would like. And this next question here, affiliate link, can be any link that you like. So if you want to lead it to uh, another realtor site, uh, whatever you would like to put here, is totally up to you. Okay, now we're at the finished and build portion. 
And since we're at this point, what I'm going to do is we're going to stop the video here and we're going to have a second video that shows you what happens when we finish and build. And in the same one, we'll show you how to use our file transfer software and upload this to your website. I'll see you in the next video.